On this episode of Inside COD, we talked to Diana Martinez, director of the Mackinac Arts Center, about its 30th anniversary celebrations. The Buffalo Theater Ensemble returns to the college after a three year hiatus. We tee off at Top Golf in Naperville. And we have another great giveaway for a lucky viewer. All that and much more coming up. Hello, and welcome to this episode of Inside COD. I'm your host, Rob Nardini. And I'm Alex Bruzek. Joining us today at the round table is Artistic Director Connie Kennedy Howard and Associate Artistic Director Amelia Barrett of the Buffalo Theater Ensemble. Thanks for being here, guys. Thanks Thank for you. Us. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Can you tell us about the events that led up to the hiatus of the Buffalo Theater Ensemble? Sure. Um, BTE was fiscally responsible, and we produced high quality, thoughtful theater for the western suburbs, non-for-profit, for our students and our community. Um, we mostly made our revenue through ticket sales, donations, and grants, and we balanced our budgets. But in the summer of 2012, there was a change in philosophy at the college, and Buffalo Theater Ensemble chose to suspend our 13-14 season. After tireless efforts made by current and former students, as well as the community and fellow ensemble members, BT is back this year. What can you tell us about the upcoming shows? The current show that's running now and closes on October 9th, is, which is Sunday, is um, Don't Dress for Dinner. And it's a fantastic farce, silly, silly movement and um, situations and uh, has had really good audience reaction yeah. to this point. And then our next show goes into rehearsal in January. We go up in February. It's Good People um, and is a wonderful piece that was nominated for several awards um, uh, about what you will do to support the people that you love. So let's talk a little bit about the ensemble itself. What makes it so unique to the college? We have so many initiatives going on right now that are very exciting for us. We uh, have a shadow program. Maybe you, you should talk about the shadows. The Acting Shadows is a brand new program, even though um, uh, we've always had um, Buffalo Theater Ensemble, which is really celebrating its 30th anniversary season, has always been a model for students. We've in instituted a new program where um, individuals that have more training and are really ready to embark on a new place um, uh, can shadow literally one of the professional actors. We have a high school ambassador program going on where we've invited local high schools to nominate two of their outstanding theater kids and we've given them season subscriptions and we have a lecture for them before the show. We have a little pizza party where they meet each other and, and trade information and then we take them to the show and then they also get to ask the actors and the director questions and look backstage and take a tour. So that's a really fun initiative that we have going on. So it sounds like you guys really give them a hands-on experience that they mm -hmm. can't get elsewhere really. Mm -hmm. Correct. And certainly students, um, uh, tech students, um, work on every BTE show um, in the builds and in the run crews. And it's great on the job training really. Yes. That's how you learn yes. is actually doing and yes. just reading it from a book. Yes. So with all these great things that you're talking about, what do you think the future holds for BTE? You hope that it's bright. <laughs> <laughs> we want to continue designing initiatives to reach further out into the community and as well as the college itself. And, um, and we intend to do that for a very long time. So. <laughs> All right. well, thank you so much for joining us, Connie and Amelia. We really appreciate it. Thanks for helping us Thanks spread the word about BTE. Thank you very much. For tickets and upcoming performance information for the Buffalo Theater Ensemble, please visit at themac.org or call 630-942-4000. And coming up next, I'm going to find out what more the MAC has planned for the 30th anniversary. And later we have another giveaway, but first, here's a look at your COD calendar of events. On Wednesday, October 12th, Sodexo Go 60s in the cafeteria from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Come and celebrate COD's 50th anniversary with special throwback food items from the 1960s. On Tuesday, October 18th, the college will be hosting a free college fair from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the Physical Education Center Arena. Representatives from 200 colleges and universities from across the U.S. will be on hand to provide information. And start Halloween off with a bang and attend the Chemistry Bonding Club's free pumpkin explosion at 10 a.m. in HSC 3326. The MAC is celebrating its 30th anniversary this year with some great performances. 
Joining us now is Diana Martinez, director of the MAC. Welcome, Diana. Thank you. So how is the MAC going to be celebrating the 30th anniversary? Well, it is going to be really a spectacular year. Uh, we have over 33 shows in the performance series this year. And New Philharmonic Orchestra is actually celebrating their 40th anniversary. And Buffalo One Theater Ensemble is back. And they're here just in time to celebrate their 30th anniversary. So there's a lot of celebrations that are happening. Um, but we've kind of put it all under the headline of 30 Mactastic Years. Great. And uh, we're going to have a timeline on our website. And we're working on a video of the history of the Mac to share with everybody to sort of, you know, celebrate all the contributions, past mm -hmm. and present, that brought us to where we are. That, sound, that sounds fantastic. So while we're talking about that, what are some of the great shows that people um, have a chance to look forward to this season coming up? Well, we st um, we've already started the season, mm -hmm. um, but continuing coming up, we have John Hyatt, who's going to be here, which is you know kind of a big deal. That's a pretty big name act that we're going to have right here. And then Stephen Schwartz, um, is coming. He wrote Wicked and Pippin, and wow. he's a yeah, he's a, a really amazing composer. And he's also going to do a residency with the students while he's here. And he brings Broadway singers and sings all his big Broadway hits. Um, there's a faculty recital that's coming up, and that's where the faculty gets to show their stuff. Um, and that's on October 6th, and each one of them perform some of their best work that they're doing because they're all professional musicians in their own right. Um, New Philharmonic, who I said is celebrating their 40th, their kickoff show featured Harold Bauer, the first conductor. They're doing a Gersh one night in October, mm -hmm. which will be really great with singers, Porgy and Bass, all that kind of stuff. And then, um, and late October on the 28th, we have an evening with Bruce Hornsby, which is, wow, I know, it's like. It's this a, is an amazing, it's, it's almost like you're talking about a venue of downtown Chicago, but all this is right here in the suburbs. Right here with free parking. What are some of the benefits that are available to COD students? Well, this year, um, we're going to have 30 tickets for every show available at half price. Any show they want to come to, they have to buy them at the box office mm -hmm. with their ID. Um, and then we're going to also have 30 tickets for $30 for the public every month on the 30th of the month. Right, so every 30th, yeah. you can buy 30 tickets. We'll make 30 tickets available for $30. No, that, that's, that's a great idea. Yeah, and are there any other special changes maybe that you're trying to change for the fall season, something you haven't tried before? or? Yes, actually. Um, we are going to have a new VIP experience, and it's a... It's, it's something that a lot of the big theaters downtown are doing. Mm -hmm. So it's $30, and you pay, and you get to have a pre-show private experience in a suite with up to 50 people are also going to be in there. But it's with a private bartender. You can leave your coats in there. They'll lock it up and keep it locked up. And so you just have your own little suite to go to, and it's um, free cocktails, free appetizers before the show, and then an intermission um, dessert and cocktails. It's just a nice VIP experience, and you can add it to any ticket you'd like. Oh, that's, that's great. And will all that information, I would imagine, be on the website yes. for if people are interested, but they're yes. not quite sure exactly what, what it entails. Right. Even though we just explained it, but there might be other details exactly. that they need to know. At the Mac.org. And you can still subscribe. If you subscribe and buy tickets to three or more shows, people will get a discount. Great. And now we're talking about the website and the information. Um, how do people go about, just in general, since you're talking about just getting tickets, whether it be season tickets the entire time or just that they just want to go to one show? So. Sure. You can, call, um, you can call the box office or you can go online at www.atthemac.org. And now we have a new ticketing system, so you can actually subscribe online if you don't want to call. All right. Thank you very much, Diana, for joining us. That's a lot of great information, but I think we all now have something to look forward to for the fall and upcoming winter. For more information or to purchase tickets, please visit at the Mac.org or call 630-942-4000. Coming up next, we get into the swing of things at Top Golf. And later, we have another giveaway for one viewer. But first, here's a look at your community calendar. On Wednesday, October 12th through Saturday, October 15th, the Morton Arboretum will be hosting the Glass Pumpkin Patch at 10 a.m. There will be glass demonstrations, an art exhibit, and opportunities to meet the artists. For more information on this event, visit their website at mortonarb.org. On Sunday, October 23rd, the Whedon Animal Hospital will be hosting the Halloween Party, an adoption event at 11 a.m. at their facilities. For more information, visit their website at wheatonanimalhospital.com. And on Friday, October 28th, Cosley Zoo will be hosting Spooktacular at 5.30 p.m. Featuring a straw maze, live animals, 
pumpkin decorating, and a trick-or-treat track. For more information and ticket pricing, visit WheatonParkDistrict.com. COD teams up with Top Golf at their newest location in Naperville. We swing by to find out about this premier entertainment destination. Uh, here at Top Golf, we offer an amazing, fun uh, entertainment, uh, you know, experience for all of our guests. There's an interactive golf uh, game, um, similar to bowling, really. Uh, we're actually going for a high score uh, versus the real game of golf, where you're going for a low score. The Top Golf experience is about gathering with your friends and family in a really unique and fun environment, and just kind of letting loose and connecting with who you're, whoever you're with, um, and having fun while doing it. Top golf definitely helps my game. Um, I don't get it to go out that much, um, so it really helps me to work on uh, different aspects of the game. So golf is kind of expensive, so come here. It's reasonable to play with your buddies, grab some drinks, some food. So it's a good place to hang out and interact. We've come here just with work events, and it always just brings us together. We always just have a good time. Uh, we have 257 TVs in the facility, so you can actually watch um, whatever. If you want to watch the Bears game, Cubs game in the postseason this year, whatever it might be. While you're hitting golf balls, eating, having a beer, that all can happen at the same time. Uh, we also have the targets are LED lit at, at nighttime, so uh, we have about 20 different light shows that play with the music. So you can get an entertainment you know, light show uh, from the targets while you're hitting golf balls into those targets. So if you're looking to get more information about what's happening at Top Golf, just check out our Facebook page, which is Top Golf Naperville, um, and all of the information about what we're doing, all the parties we're throwing, and what's coming up in the life of Top Golf is all there for you. Remember, for more information about Top Golf, log on to the website at topgolf.com or call 630-596-1000. Top Golf was kind enough to donate this month's giveaway. Before we show the prize that one lucky viewer will receive, let's go over the rules. It's pretty simple. Go to our Facebook page, Courier TV, and like the October edition of Inside COD on our feed. Remember, it's the October edition, and you have until Thursday, October 27th at noon to like the episode. This month, Top Golf has donated a $25 gift card for one lucky viewer. Remember to visit our Facebook page at Courier TV and like the October edition of Inside COD in our feed for a chance to win this $25 gift card by October 27th. Thanks again for joining us on this month's edition of Inside COD. We will see you back here in November.